Remember the old days, the pies your mother used to make? You'd go into the kitchen, there's mom breaking eggs, beating them. There'd be rich country cream and sugar and fresh fruit and real vanilla beans and butter. Remember all that? Well, you can forget it. We've eliminated all the old sentimentalities. Modern baking through modern chemistry. Here's a pie you can make with the same ingredients that the manufacturer uses and lists on the box. The same ingredients that I have right here. We'll make the crust first. Let's begin with some wheat flour. That's always good for a beginning when you're making a crust. Just pour it right through the sifter and make sure that any dross or detritus is caught by the mesh of the sifter. There it goes. It's all gone. That's fine. Now we're going to put some sugar in to make it sweet. Just lay the sugar in nicely. A little shortening to shorten the crust so it doesn't stay long in the bowl. And use your friendly tools to all you can have to get the shortening in there. That's good. Don't let it fight you. It's always going to fight you. Now to make it stay moist and loose, you want to put some water in. That's very good. Add a little sweetening from our friend Dextro's hospital tested, hospital approved. Lay it right in. Now we want to mix a little sorghum flour with a little grain flour. There's some graham flour. Mix that around and put your sorghum flour in there too and just let it all go in. Make sure you're getting all the impurities out. That's fine. Okay, and a little dash of salt to give it some oh, power and strength so it can stand there proud. Here's some sodium bicarbonate. You want to measure this out carefully. You want to be careful with it too. These spoons, so they stick together like little spoons do. Okay, there's some sodium bicarbonate. And here's its antidote, ammonium bicarbonate. <laughs> they think of everything, don't they? You might have some trouble finding these, but if you ask around, you might get these ingredients from some friends of yours, or if you know any druggists or chemists. And what's a pie without a little artificial flavoring and coloring? Just put it in there so it looks appetizing. That's fine. We'll just let this set chemically and heat up by itself and go over and make the body of the pie. We're going to start with water. Just lay that water right in the bowl. That's good. And add some corn syrup. It's thick and it's sweet, and it's just fine. It lays right in there with the water. Great. Here's some shortening. We have shortening in both sides in the crust. Ah, and in the body, get some help for our friend, the wooden spoon. Wooden spoon helps us out to get the shortening in there. Excellent. More sugar just to make it sweet. Here's our sugar. It sits there with the shortening and the sugar and the dextrose. And now we get to the interesting part. Here they come. Here are whey solids, fresh from bossy to you. Just lay that right in there. Mix it around. Make sure you have enough. That's dairy fresh, dairy approved. Sits right in there. Now we're going to food starch modified. What are the modifications? No one knows, but they've been modified for some years. That sits in there, makes it thick too. More dextrose, more sweets behind the sweets. That sits in there. Here's some sodium caseinate. Remember the word casein, see it in glue and paints. This is something different though. It's a dairy product as well, and not bad for you nutritionally. That's good. Now we come to an important part, time to add the flavoring. This is what distinguishes our pie from other pies. It has a certain amount of flavor. That's good. Great. Some gelatin to give that flavoring a little mush and gush and make it stand tall and proud in the world of pies. Real gelatin. Now we put some whole milk solids, also a very wonderful natural dairy item. That's good. Monosodium and diglycerides. This is an emulsifier. Make it hang together. Hang together and stay sloppy in your tummy. Another dash of salt, just a little, just a dash, like snow. Isn't that pretty? Taste the vinegar to give it that old tartness. But be careful you don't put too much vinegar in. If you do, the kids will be turning their noses up at it, saying you made a vinegar pie and you don't want to do that. Polysorbate number 60, not 58 or 59 or 61. If you have trouble finding this, your local organic chemical supply House should probably have a little for you. This is an emulsifier, and it's also retards spoilage. So many pies these days are spoiling right and left. This one doesn't spoil ever. You keep it for seven or eight months. Here's some vanilla to counteract the vinegar and add a little more flavoring. That's fine. And our old friend, where is he? Where are you? There she is. This is monosodium phosphate. Can be found in laxatives and detergents cleans all kinds of tubes out and you'll have a clean pie. We'll just lay this in right here. You don't want to put too much. Acts like a 
Drano or something. That's fine. Now we go to the Texas grasslands for a little guar gum. That's fine. That's purely organic. A little lecithin for the arteries. That's it. And what's a pie without a little artificial color? Just a couple drops. Not too much. You don't want it to clash with the walls or the curtains. That's fine. Okay. You may wonder what kind of a pie we've made here. See that? And I'll show you exactly what kind of a pie it is. There it is. A modern lemon cream pie. I'll open it for you. you get it out of the box. Good. Take the paper off. Factory fresh, factory approved. No lemons, no eggs, no cream, just pie. 